Hello, hello. Welcome back for some more Mass Effect Psycho Time. Now, we are in the end game. We are uh, right at the end of the game. Now, there's a few things I haven't done. This wasn't a 100% playthrough, you know. This kind of Shepard would not care about certain things. You know, missions where you get to kill stuff. Cool, missions where you have to, like, save puppies and stuff. Nah, he didn't care. So I didn't do that. I didn't do any of, like, the... The planet stuff really. Hey Ken. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I did not do I didn't finish this one just because why yeah, why would I? It's just saving people. Eh. Yeah, but it feels weird just like jumping into Ilos right now. But normally I don't like uh starting games on the same day I beat a game. I like starting fresh, but since we're gonna beat this in like the next two hours. I figured, uh, let's just start Mass Effect 2 afterwards. Yeah, we're not, see, we're not doing Pinnacle Station. I never do Pinnacle Station. It's just, and it's just an arena DLC. It's not that great. I mean, this is back in the days where DLC was kind of like, eh, it's like hit or miss horse armor and such. But I like bringing down the sky. I think it's pretty good. But Pinnacle Station was kind of just an add-on thing. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Oh, also... I have, uh, because I unlocked uh, some more emote slots, I felt, I was like, you know, I don't like staring at just empty emote slots. So I put in some stupid emotes for now that I made from screen captures of, of uh, Mass Effect and of XCOM 2 with Mass Effect mods. So they're in there. <laughs> Enjoy how bad they are. All right. Yep, there they are. <laughs> You have Angry Shepherd, you have uh, uh, Morden Pog, and you have uh, Creepy Smile Tally. I wasn't trying to make it creepy, I was trying to make it look bad. Like, it's purpo it purposely looks bad. I was just like, Tally Face, MS Paint, Smiley Face, there you go. But it kind of came off as creepy. Which I guess works since it's October, so. Alright, and here we are. Ilos, the end game of Mass Effect. Again, one of my favorite things. I love Mass Effect 1 more than the other ones. It's just preference. But ending-wise, you can't beat the suicide mission in Mass Effect 2. You can't. I love Ilos and the Citadel stuff at the end. The lore drop you get about the Protheans and the Reapers. But you can't really compete with Mass Effect 2's suicide mission. I mean, if you want to say that the Citadel DLC in 3 is the ending, then, I mean, okay, alright. It was the last thing a lot of people did. They beat the game, wasn't too fond of the ending, then they play the Citadel, Citadel DLC, so. Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer! I've looked! Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh, and Joker gets a nice moment, too. And as you can see, uh, poor Rex is dead. And as you can see, Caden is dead. I left him on Vermeer. Won't be the first time we see a, a, a death on our team. But I will say that two is a little complicated. I won't have to deal with the two complicated math. It's not really super complicated, but there needs flow charts and stuff for the end mission. But... There's also certain characters I can do loyalty for and certain characters I can't. So, it actually is possible to kill off a lot of characters when everyone's loyal if you make bad mistakes and you don't upgrade the ship. So I need to do certain things pretty exact to get the outcome I want. Again, this Shepard is all about like manipulation and a little power hungry, a little sadistic. But it isn't until Mass Effect 2 where that power hungriness is going to set in. And his end goal of taking over Cerberus, killing the elusive man. That is why he'll leave certain people alive for his team. And Miranda, especially. 
Now, who am I bringing for the final push? We can only bring two. I have four left. We're not going to have Ashley around that much longer. Just because she's not really, she's not a teammate in two and really not in three at this point. So I kind of want to bring Ashley. We haven't got to use her too much in the last playthrough because she died. <laughs> Tally and Sparkles. All right. Once again, we're not bringing Liara to the Prothean ruins that would make her day. But I feel like that's honestly a little, I think it's a little messed up to do, which is why this character would do it. It's like, hmm, hmm. You know, I'm sure I'm sure Liara would like to come to the uh, the pre the Prothean planet that no one knows about. Nah. Hey, Liara, would you like to go? Yes. Too bad. No Ilos for you. But Shepard, I killed your mother for you. I killed my mother for you. It's like too bad. I like that. I do like that Joker gets his moment here, pulling off like a perfect drop. Inside now. Oh, Saren, I got a bullet with your name on it. Well, they're not really bullets, are they? We discussed it before in this game. They're like metal shavings. It's not really bullets, but close I enough. To get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Oh yeah! This is the part of the game where it sounds like someone's breathing into the mic a little too heavy. There it is. I actually have to, and I end up having to uh, lower the sound here to stop that. See, there's no... Yeah, there's no sound now. I'm going to up it a little bit just so we actually get something out of it. That was weird. The music stopped. There it goes again. Okay. Again, the, the audio in this game is a little wonky sometimes. That's at five. That's at five. Listen to how soft my bullets are. Yet that breathing sound effect is still really loud. Oh well, silent, silent shotgun, let's go. It's better than deafening people. Okie dokie. So yes, our goal here is to stop Saren. And stop Sovereign. The The music broke again. I Like I said, the audio in this game is a little wonky. And now it's restarting again. <laughs> Oh yeah, big guys are here. Gotta watch out for those. Oh, Tally's already dead. Welp. Eh. God, the best. What some of the best things? Some of the best things about Mass Effect Two upcoming. One, more characters, more interesting characters, and more opportunities to be a jackass. Also, better biotic abilities. Ow. I'm trying to limbo. Oh, I, oh, I died up. Oh, that's kind of. I wouldn't join to destroy the galaxy, but I would, I would like just kill him and just gain his army of Geth and Krogan that are left. So like, this Shepard doesn't want to destroy the galaxy. He wants to rule the galaxy. See, it's like some of the Sith in KOTOR 2 like Nihilus, wants to just kill all life in the galaxy. Just eat it all. Yum, yum, yum. But Palpatine wants to rule the galaxy. There's nothing... He gets nothing out of destroying everything. He wants there be nothing to rule. Nothing to mess with. Nothing to have power from. So this Shepard would want to just kill Saren and take over his army. And his power. Get, get, all, get all his power. All right, we're doing better. Tally's still alive. Yeep. Now, I actually did, um... 
I had I was messing with those emotes like five minutes before I had to go before I had to start stream, just because I wanted to get something done, even though I know they're kind of like meh. But I actually use the uh, XCOM 2 with Mass Effect mods to get a few uh, in-game screen captures. Kind of worked better than I thought it would. Ray, but uh, because of that, I the Blitz Ball isn't an option right now. Until I decide what to do with certain things, I took the blitz ball out for the smiling tally. <laughs> it's like I don't need two smiling emotes, but I also uh, put in the the nightbot commands for uh, I believe it's exclamation point tally smile and exclamation point Morden Pog, and that'll spam them just like the uh, the save sphere and the blitz ball. When I I was trying to think of what to do with certain people's faces in XCOM two. And as soon as I saw my Morden face with uh, like the Pog face, I was like, that's, that's pretty good. I know it, his heat. See, look, Morden has a long face, so it doesn't fit quite well. <laughs> doesn't fit too well. Take cover. Cause that way his mouth is kind of smaller. So you can't really tell what he's doing, but again, they're temporary until I get something better. I thought about going into my other save file and doing a screen grab of my Paragon Shepard. Of maybe him smiling at the end when he beats Saren and the, and Sovereign. So I could have like angry, angry Psycho Shepherd, and then just like happy Paragon Shepherd. I still do that. Now I don't think I have to go up there. Can I? Hmm. Oh, I can. Look at that. Ow. God, it's these guys. Whenever I mention I wish these guys stayed in the series, then I don't when I fight them. They're they're cool. I like them. They're creepy. They're creepy to fight. They're just creepy rubber geth, but they're kind of annoying. Speaking of creepy, because it's October, I, I am playing through this series as a Renegade Shepherd, but it's not going to take the whole month, right? So I thought about maybe doing a few uh, like indie spooky games. Towards the end of the week, like towards the end of the, the month, like the last week of the month where, where Halloween actually is. If I can get through Mass Effect 2 and 3 in like the next three weeks, which I should easily be able to do. Must be running off its own generator. There's uh, two games I'm thinking about trying. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. I know what I'm doing, Tally. Tally? Oh, <laughs> that, they weren't in front of me, right? That, that was like a teleport. My teammates once again stating the obvious. I feel like with Tally, Tally's going to... I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Tally's going to be one of the characters in 2 that I'm somewhat nice to. Somewhat nice. Not nice, but it's like not completely mean. Because her, va her value becomes in her knowledge of the Geth. Also, just knowing how the game plays. Again, Shepard wouldn't know this going in, but the whole exile thing presents a great opportunity. I believe Shepard knows that Tally would do anything for the migrant fleet. It's not viable. It's not feasible to like completely gain her trust over the migrant fleet and her own people. But if I can exile her, I've lost shields. It'll drive a wedge between them, and maybe I'll get a little more information out of her. Information that might have been classified at some, you know, by the by the by the Corians. Interesting. Um. Oh, uh oh. Well, that's kind of cheap. That was kind of a cheap maneuver. Geth tried to cheat me. So yes, there will be times where I do something in the game where you might be thinking, why are you helping that person? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? There's reasons. One, to how it's how, how I want to play the game, and Saren's two... already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. I'm too late. Unable to... Invading fleets... No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. 
It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. Yeah, it's it came out... The tally... I will admit, the tally emote came out very creepy. I wasn't trying to do that, but it did. Um, I think I'm going to mess with it a little bit after the stream. I'm going to make that yellowish-orange color a little more orange to kind of match her drone color. I, I don't think I got a... Like a, a maybe that might make it less creepy. I think the yellow kind of makes it creepy looking. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Yes. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Hmm. So Shepard's thinking, it's talking about uh, the fight against the Reapers was stupid and they couldn't win and all was lost. They're all dead. Shepard's going to be like, no, I don't hear anything of importance here. Of course he keep it to himself. This Shepard is, this Shepard's kind of a jerk. Of course he would keep the knowledge to himself. He wouldn't tell anybody. It said something about the Oh, well, I guess I did. But it's too degraded to help. We'll just ignore we that. I mean, they already know about the conduit, so... While Paragon Shepard is not exactly happy with the Asari when they decided to keep a Prothean beacon hidden all this time, uh, this Shepard completely understands. He would do the same thing. In fact, when we found the beacon on Eden Prime, I'm pretty sure Shepard was the first one to say, why did we tell the Council? Couldn't we have just, couldn't humanity just kept that for themselves? I mean, the Asari did it, and I'm sure the Salarians kind of understand. You know, I read a thing on Reddit about that. The idea that the Salarians only found the Citadel like th like 30 years after the Asari or something. It wasn't that long. The Asari were uplifted by the Protheans. They had a Prothean beacon either given to them by their gods, who were the Protheans, or whatever. They also had biotics like put into their DNA. The, the Asari had so many advantages over every other race in this cycle. And even still, they made ma they made mistakes. They weren't able to beat the Reapers. And the Salarians found the Citadel not that much later. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get in there. Oh, well. Hey. So maybe the Protheans kind of picked wrong. I mean, well, I wonder what the galaxy would look like if the Protheans picked the Salarians to uh, be the uplifted species, seeing their intelligence above all others and thinking this could be a good idea. Who votes we take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker? Me, me, me. Good idea. The firepower will come Hmm. Now we have a silenced tank. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. Oh, they noodle. have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Hmm. Look at all these stasis pods. Now, of course, the shepherd's going to agree with the uh, the assessment of the VI. You know, take take off power to some of them and keep the imp important people alive. Even I can get behind that. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans I see you. tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong, though. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead. And so is anyone inside. All of them? There must be hundreds of those pods. What was Saren expecting to find here? There's nothing left but corpses. Hmm. <laughs> well, while I find that kind of cool... Let's, uh, let's keep moving, people. No point in talking about a bunch of dead people. They're not going to help us. Here comes the Lord Dump. What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind us. 
Also, I haven't really heard any of Tally's lines here. As I said before, in the first, my first playthrough, even like other playthroughs, I didn't really like Tally that much in these games. Felt like she was, she was pure tech, if which I really didn't care about. Automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? I'm not putting faith in anybody being on our side. Not anymore. Cynical, I approve. But yeah, I just, I saw Tally as just like, she was there just to kind of tell us about her people. While Garrus was someone you could mold, follow the rules, don't follow the rules, whatever. Rex, Rex was his own person, but you found out he's kind of like a, pr a pretty progressive Krogan who tried to change things. And then you have Ashley and Caden, you know, typical humans. But then you had Tally, who really only talked about co the Corians as a whole, not really herself. So while she was a window into the entire race, I really didn't learn about her. That's why she was kind of forgetful to me, or for forgettable to me. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you, unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Saren could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Yep. Again, the Shepherd would definitely see the advantages of that of that play. It's pretty smart. Leaving a Citadel, a thing that has all this cool technology, it's it's big and like all has all this cool stuff. You knew, they knew that every single species, every single cycle, would eventually put their government right there. Good idea. Reapers can wipe out the council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. Ingenious. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. <laughs> Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You know, I'm sensing a roleplay aspect of this here. Uh, a change in Shepard's personality. This this VI is telling Shepard how the Reapers won against the Protheans, who are more advanced than we are. What they did, and, and, and instead of like 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 gasping in horror, like oh that's so bad they did all that, he's just taking notes. He's like, hmm, what, so what they do? What they do to take over the galaxy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Took out the Citadel and the Council. Got it. Uh, all the indoctrinated people, so brainwashed them, made them fight themselves. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. He's just taking notes. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. 
The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon, it's a backdoor into the Citadel. Yeah, I'm loving the fact that the information we're gathering right now is to stop the Reapers, but in this Shepard's case, it's also to become something later, you know? Just taking notes on galactic domination. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? Tally, don't be so naive. I agree with that. What, what was he supposed to do? Let the power stay on and everyone be dead? I, I kind of, you know, I get this. You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I Probably saved not. key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Aww. Bet they're pissed. I always wondered, is Sovereign always the one who stays behind? The idea that so one stays behind, maybe in some kind of hibernation, hiding somewhere. And then when it comes time to do the cycle, someone, you know, they, they wake up, alarm goes off, you know, time, time to kill everyone. And then they send the signal, nothing happens. I wonder if, if, if Sovereign's always the one that has been doing that, or do they take, do they draw straws? Like whoever loses has to go. Instead of going into comfy dark space to sleep for 50,000 years, they have to take like a bad nap somewhere in like a cot in like in the, in the side of space. Somewhere where it's like probably uncomfortable so they can't be seen by anybody. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. One thing important to remember in there. Saren knows a way to just shut down the Citadel. That could be uh, very handy to remember later. Also, the program that Vigil's about to give me, a program that can take over the Citadel temporarily, maybe uh, keep a copy of that for later if it's possible. Just in case, you could sell it to the uh, you could sell it to the Shadow Broker, or you could just use it for yourself. A galactic game of rock paper scissors. Hmm. 
said whoever loses uh, dies. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Yep. Also, do you ever think, like, the Reapers are so arrogant? I mean, they're probably programmed to be arrogant. So, do you think any of the Reapers that lost the game of Rock, Paper, Scissors that had to uh, come back and do this, do you think they ever thought they were in danger? Do you think any Reaper, they were probably just thinking about how inconvenient it was to have to stay in this galaxy? You know, not be like Dark Space has like, you know, Reaper pizza and stuff. This place has nothing. Uh, just pizza and video games for the Reapers that want to go back. I wonder if any Reaper ever felt like, you know, there is a possibility I could die. Hmm. Wants to buy Winrar? Hmm. I wonder how many people have bought Winrar. I wonder what the stats on that is. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Also notice something there. I didn't do the investigation stuff because, again, this, she <clears throat> this shepherd would not care. However, because we already got the good information, right? Like how the Reapers took over the galaxy, you know, for later. But if Liara's in your party, she's like, wait, shepherd. But by the goddess... Wait, Shepard, you haven't asked him any stupid questions yet. And then it's like, oh, you're right. I guess I should ask the questions. It's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything, just like my people. Without her in the party, no one else cares. We can get there in time. Their plan only fails if we do. And I've come too far to watch Saren. She also says that when you ask all the questions. I ask every single question on my other character. And then she's still like, but Shepard, I want to hear it again. How about you just record it for later? Wait a minute. That would have solved a lot of problems, wouldn't it? You know, a recording device would have solved problems in Mass Effect 1 quite a bit. Shepard, we don't believe that you talked to a Reaper on Vermeer. How about how about this uh, recording from my helmet that showed the VI? Like, Of course, they could be like, oh, it's just a VI pretend. That's a VI that, that Saren made to pretend to be a Reaper. But it would be more compelling than Shepard just going, um, doing like the... You know, like the the big hair scientist guy meme where it's just like aliens, it's reapers. More compelling when you actually have something else to say, something else to show for it. Or the fact that Saren was on Egan Prime. Except the thing is, we never saw Saren. We actually never saw Saren. That part makes sense. Even if we had video proof of what happened on Egan Prime. We never saw Saren ourselves. We only were told his name by somebody else. So to be fair, the council was like, yeah, traumatized dock worker, not the greatest eyewitness. Maybe we shouldn't believe him. The fact is, we believed him. It's the only evidence we had. I think it's funny to think that we don't know Saren is there officially. Like We, we just know because someone told us. This thing has so much health. Okay, all right. Okay, Nomad. Come on. There you go. <laughs> I called it the Nomad. Mako. 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 The Nomad's in the other one. Then you have the Hammerhead that I don't like. I think we can up the sound now. I think we're good. Mako. Kaboom!
Oh, it's gonna be fun getting back to Mass Effect Two and meeting and getting like you know having the crew there, and also taking more time to play the game instead of just beating it in six hours. <laughs> never, I never did get the final times on those games. I should. I should look at those uh, the timings on like the, the the highlights that I have, and see how long it took me to beat each game from the start, like from the start on the main screen to the uh, where the correct credits start, basically. There we go. But Mako, I hope you come back. Like, I really do hope the Mako comes back to uh, any kind of remake they do of this game. They want to make it a little less rubbery. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm okay with it. I'll miss this, but it's fine. There, the conduit. It's incredible. Oh, got a few extra feet by we jumping. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. This part was actually hard on, in, on Sanity to get the achievement on Xbox. The Mako kept dying. <laughs> It kept getting blown up. Hey, look, it's the thing that's just a Geth ship, right? Well, Geth ships suck. They can kill it easily. Right? It'd be funny if the council was actually on the radio when saw when, when uh, Shepard's trying to decide what to do with him. Save him or kill him. He's like, Shepard, Shepard, the Reaper's killing us. The what? The what is? What, what was that? The Reaper. Oh, well, that's, oh, well, you're, oh, that's good for you, though. You're being attacked by an imaginary thing. That's great. You won't die, then. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? Hmm. Oh, uh, yes. Reapers. <laughs> Shepard, we know it's real now. We can see it. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't... Why would I believe you? You have no valid proof. But Shepard, we see it right there. So? I saw it and you didn't believe me. Why should I believe you? Hmm. Remember when I said the... the wait... I've never had that happen before. I failed, but the my death, like the 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 the, the get, like the pedal, the pedal being down just a little bit longer as I died, got me through. So now, a Mako with a bunch of dead people is gonna be is gonna be put on the Citadel. <laughs> That's great. Good thing I saved it. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's a pretty cool the moment. I love when I see things in these games I haven't seen before, like that. This is funny. That relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Let's see, that was at 46 minutes. I'm gonna make a note, since I can't alt-tab right now. 46 minutes. I might, uh... I, I wanna, like, know where that is, just so I can look at it later. We get to watch this again. Oh, it's like they, if they would have listened to us, maybe they would have been more prepared. Thing is, they were prepared. This is what's funny about this. They said that if Saren attacked the, the, all of us, that he'd be screwed. How do you fight against all this? But Sovereign being there definitely tipped the scales in their favor. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council! Evacuate the Citadel! Citadel Abandon the council! Citadel control, do you copy? Wait, did you reverse that? No, I know what I said. Here we go again! So yeah, on Insanity, I died here so many times. It's kind of like, you take so many hits here, it's kind of, it's, I mean, it's honestly kind of hard to get through here sometimes. But I think that my best bet is to run them over as I go. It's less that are shooting me in the back. That one. Because you can't kill him fast enough. There we go. That's like one or two not shooting me right now, so that's good. We're good. Yay, we're back to the Citadel. Critical failure. 
is detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. This is a pretty cool moment that's not really talked about that much. I mean, at least in game. Like, that. That was loud. Woo! Thank you, sound mixing. Rest in peace, Mako. You're my favorite teammate. You didn't talk back. You didn't say anything stupid. You didn't get yourself killed in combat all the time. You didn't shoot walls like an idiot. Just, no, you were the best teammate ever. Because you did exactly what I told you to do. Unlike everyone else on the team. Stupid free will. And this Shepard's definitely going to be on board to, to control the Reapers in uh, 3, isn't he? Whenever the elusive man's like, I found a way to control them. Go on. Go on, BFF. I always thought that so that Saren shot that Keeper because he was so angry at the Keepers because Sovereign's angry at the Keepers. Sovereign is indoctrinating Saren, right? Sovereign's probably pretty pissed off at the Keepers the for not doing closing. what they're supposed to do. They're sealing the station. I feel like that's like a, like a. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. A very subtle way of showing that Saren's being controlled by Sovereign. Fire. It's gonna do nothing. Hey, Sergeant. Now, what would you do if you were in this situation? There's nothing you can do, right? It's just, I guess I just die now. How badass is a ship? That in space, it can just ram you and kill you. Remember remember the Reaper fight scene in 3? There were actually... The Reapers were actually taking apart ships with their, like... With their, like, tentacle things. That is scary to think about. A ship in space that's so powerful and can take so many hits, it can actually just melee you. Melee ship combat. What do you do against that? I'm assuming most ships aren't built to withstand that kind of thing. There's no pressure in space. So I feel like... Ships wouldn't be quite built to, to withstand, like, a very hard, like, blunt force hit to its hull. I mean, yes, it has to keep pressure in, but still. I don't know, I always felt like, like spaceships would not have, like, the best hull integrity when it comes to physical hits. Although, I guess you'd have to have, like, Saren's that for, like, elevator. meteors and stuff, asteroids. Although in Star Trek land, that's what uh, deflector shields are for. Aren't, isn't one of the purposes of, def of a deflector shield to push debris out of the way when they're going high speeds? Or else they'd have like microscopic dust going through their hull constantly. I'm pretty sure that was actually an episode of Voyager. In an episode where the sh it's called uh, the two-part year of hell episodes. The deflector dish was down for a while and they were just flying through space at like sublight speeds. And... They went through a micro meteor storm, and it damaged the hull everywhere because they didn't have a deflector shield to knock it to like knock it out of the way. So even as something as simple as a micro meteor shower, like just a micro like field of asteroids, basically, is enough to take out a ship without the right technology. Space travel's complicated. It's not just empty. It's not just full of emptiness, and it's like we we'll just go forward, right? There's a lot of space debris and dust and stuff that would just slice through your hull. There's a lot of radiation. <laughs> space is full of radiation. That's why Earth is cool. It has ways of blocking most of that. <laughs> spooky space aliens. Speaking of spooky... I have an idea for, like, one horror indie game I might play at the end of the month. Again, I'll probably get through Mass Effect, the Mass Effect trilogy, by the last week of October, I would think. Honestly, it might only take a week to beat two and three. Like, a week each. So we might have two weeks of October to mess around with some spooky stuff. Will this work here? There's no gravity here. Will this just send them off flying? Just send Bye. Now, 
Now, I haven't seen the movie, uh, I have not seen the movie Gravity. But, can you imagine the panic of that kind of moment where it's like, you lose your, you lose your connection to something that's tethering you, and you go flying through space knowing you can't stop, ever? Well, this sucks. <laughs> It's like, it'd be like falling into a bottomless pit. Bo eh, bottomless pit. It's like, I guess I'm just here until my oxygen runs out. Some people probably can. Like, I mean, plenty of people live on the Citadel. And all this stuff right here are people's homes and buildings and stuff. Places of business. I've lost shields. I was not, I shouldn't have been doing that right then. I was sightseeing while getting shot in the back. Typical rubberneckers. You got Geth killing you in the face, but you're looking at looking at everything around you. Hey, look at that over there. I used to live. Uh... I've lost shield. Oh no! Ow! I used to uh, work and live on this small uh, on this mountain, like to, like towards the bottom of the mountain. But there was also like a resort on the mountain that I worked at. It was very convenient to live there and work there. And so many times, people that were tourists up there for the week for a condo would uh, come up to the residential area, where they're not supposed to be, by the way. And they would just like look around at the houses and like look at deer up there because there's so many, there's so much deer up there. So as I'm trying to get to work or school or just somewhere, I have to go behind someone going five miles an hour looking at houses and deer and stuff like, just go! <laughs> Stop. Yes, it's a deer. I know. If you're from pla if you're from like places like New I'm sure you don't see a lot of deer in certain cities. Like New York and like big places, but like you see them all the time here. No, Tally. I mean Tally, you're so weak. Why do I keep you alive? See, Ashley's doing just fine. Ashley's doing just fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I? Oh, wow. It's like I'm subconsciously still in the mood for that, I guess. Tally, no. How could... No. What will I do? Oh, it's the watch out crew. Watch out! Oh, he just went poof. Oh, yeah. Biotics. <laughs> I promise I'll remember I have biotics when we get to the second and third game. Hey! Want to see everyone? Want to see what a flying Krogan looks like? Me. <laughs> Bye. Oh wow, he actually he he didn't get over the lip there. Got to kill him now. Lost shields. Tally, are you dead again? You have, like, a permanent suit of armor on. How are you always dead? <laughs> you know, I should probably put some points into people. That would probably help. Uh, can it stable it? Ooh, I'll take that. Sledgehammer rounds, proton rounds. Do you think that Saren counts as an organic or a, or a synthetic enemy? I wonder. I'm okay with the poison. Any new armor that I can do? Anything new? Oh, okay. Uh, same thing. Same thing. Ashley! With your amazing armor. Oh yeah, I have Geth Pulse Rifles now. Ooh. Alright, Tally, I'm giving you better stuff. You better not disappoint me. And, do I have anything better for you for armor? No, I don't. Never mind. God, I've caught every time I see this menu, every time I see his face, 
I just, I love it. Just his angry face. Um, I'm going to do an advanced lift. Work on, work on my upper body, you know. Ashley. Assault training and nothing else really matters here. First aid. Tally, tally. I'm going to give you all points in shotgun. <laughs> and then basic armor. All right, Tally. You should be much better in combat now. You better be much better in combat. Don't make me kill you off in two. Where'd you go? Oh, you're still down. Tally, stop taking a nap. <laughs> I made you better. Get up here. Oh, Tally's just dead for this whole fight. Well, that sucks. I'm going to see if I can do something I didn't do before. I'm going to try to bypass these turrets. I mean, they shoot rockets that are kind of easy to dodge. I'm wondering if I could just bypass them. Although I could just do this. I, I mean, I'm on normal with a good shotgun, so... I'm stuck. What is behind us? I've lost shields! Woo! Running! I like that my shepherd's a badass, but every time I get hit with my shield, I'm just like, yeah! <laughs> He's a coward deep down. I've lost shields! Yeah, I do much more damage than my speedrun character, so I might just kill the turret so I don't have to deal with them. I'm stuck. I am stuck. What am I stuck on? Don't worry. I have successfully poisoned the turret. Good job, Ashley. You're drawing the fire with your face. Good job. And yes, I said good job to Ashley. She's at, you know, I like to make fun of her. It, it, this shepherd, one of his shepherd's best pastimes, like off, off duty, is just to make fun of Ashley and just yell at her. But she is good at being a bullet sponge. She make a good uh, destiny uh, boss. All right. Oh, I saw someone streaming uh, squadrons earlier today. You know. I kind of want to get it. I mean, I'm not going to for a while, but it looks kind of fun. And it's a really cool multiplayer game. I even talked on stream once of like, would it be cool to have like a squad type game like that? It's like Star Fox, but it's like multiplayer and you can take out, a, you can do like story missions and like fight against other people. Kind of like Starfighter in Battlefront, but better. That's what that is. I, I, I was literally describing squadrons. Although I don't have a lot of... Uh, my funds are a little low right now, so the only thing I'm saving for game-wise is a Mass Effect remaster. That's it. Like, that's... I will allow myself to spend money on a Mass Effect remaster, but that's it. Anything else that's new that I want to get to stream or play or whatever, I have to wait. It has to wait. I've lost shields! And dead. All right, the end game is here. Let's do it. Let's put a bullet in Saren's smug face. His smug robotic face. Can robots be smug? Is there a smug robot? Hmm. Make it in time, Shepard. I was taking my time slaughtering your geth. Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. Out of my way. I'm heading to that master control panel, and you can't stop me. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer. But I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. I'm now Saren 2.0. Well, new updates tend to have a lot of bugs, though. Fancy hardware is not going to save you. You don't understand, Shepard. 
There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. Yeah, about that. Um, I'm not up for that. I'm not going to be a servant of the Reapers. I want to stop the Reapers so I can control other stuff and become, like, you know, the Emperor of something, you know, whatever at this point. But I, the, re, either way, Reapers have to go. I don't want to stop the Reapers because I want to save the galaxy. I want to stop the Reapers to save myself, basically. Also, if you kill everyone, I have no one to rule. I have no one to mess with. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. I mean, I'm doing this. I... Well, do I want to... The only difference is you have to fight them if you don't do this. And we already fought them once in the uh, speed run. The fight's kind of lame. So we'll just convince them. We'll yell at them some. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. And when I talked about how different beginnings of a shepherd can mean different things. Like, colonists can make a person who's like my Paragon Shepherd, who wants to, is motivated to meet new alien species to, like, show that not all aliens are like that. Also, to make sure no one, it doesn't happen to anyone else ever again. That kind of thing. Also, it can make someone hate aliens. Make someone just look for a fight, become a bully, you know? So Soul Survivor, it can make you value your teammates, or it can make you into an introverted person who never opens up to anybody ever again. This is the same thing. Shepard saw the vision and was motivated to stop it. Sovereign saw the vision and was scared, thinking we couldn't stop it, and just tried to be, you know, tried to join him. I was like, you know what? I know I can't beat you, so I'll join you. Just please don't kill me. Different reactions to the same thing. Hmm. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Now, as far as a list of achievements go on this Shepard's, uh, like, achievement board that I'm sure he has in, the, in, the, in his quarters on the Normandy... His body, his like body count, all that stuff. He just convinced his his adversary to shoot himself in the head by manipulating him a little bit. Like that, that is a feat. That definitely goes near the top of of stuff that Shepard has done so far. He committed genocide by killing the last Rachni queen. He took out an entire human colony basically, and now he convinced Saren, his adversary, to kill himself. Pretty good resume he's got going so far. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the Stop station. yelling! I'm right here. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. Genophage cure Nah, nah, but that doesn't mean I can't use the Krogan to my advantage, does it? That's one of the reasons why I needed Rex dead. Because you can convince Reeve that, because Reeve's an idiot. You can convince Reeve that you cured it when you didn't, and he goes, Okay, I'm stupid, so I believe you. But Rex is too smart for that, so I needed Rex dead. You were expecting someone else? Caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. 
You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Exactly. We can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. We have to hold them back until Sovereign's exposed. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back? I like how Ashley's making the point to not let like to not go save them. If it was coming from anybody else, it would have more weight, right? Ashley, I know you don't want to save them because they're aliens, okay? Stop that. Like it's, coming from you it means nothing to me. Also, I did I did forget one thing. When I mentioned that Sovereign played like the coward and tried to do what he could to save himself by siding with the Reapers, remember, before he saw the beacon, he was already kind of indoctrinated to begin with. Like I think Saturn already had like knowledge of stuff like that and was already being sl so that slight push Shepard had not been indoctrinated at all no contact with reapers so maybe that slight push in the back of uh in the back of Saren's mind that slight whisper of like if you join them maybe they'll spare you and others that that was that was enough to like push him and the fact that he killed himself he killed himself because he realized he was the villain he, he told himself the entire time he was doing it for everybody. He was doing it for everybody, not himself. But once he realized the truth, he was like, Welp, that's all I can do. This is all I can do to help. He had that moment of clarity that like, Matriarch sure Benezia had. Now see, I love that there's two ways to kill the council here. There's my choice. This is Paragon's choice, right? Save the council no matter what. Good guy, yay. This is my choice. This is my personal choice. If we lost too many ships uh, saving the council and not enough to defeat, so defeat Sovereign at the end, we all lose. This is my choice. I mean, I'm going with this one. <laughs> Screw the council. I've had fun yelling at them, but they, they, you know, they can die now. Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. Let the council die to save the galaxy. A tough decision. I hope you. It's not a tough decision. Choice. If the galaxy dies, so does the council. All okay. Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Serum had access to Reaper stuff before the events of this game. I don't know for sure. But like the elusive man, I think he's been touched by Reaper tech before. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. <laughs> oh, that's so brutal to look at. Like, they're not coming. They're not coming. Once again, ah, distress call. We have dismissed that claim. Bye. Now, who's going to shoot Saren in the face to make sure he's dead? My money's on Ashley. Although, it's, I think it was funny. One time I did this sure endgame where I had Caden. I think I had Caden and Liara. And I think Liara's the one that shoots Saren in the face. Kind of brutal for Liara, Mass Effect 1, don't you think? What if you had Caden and Tally? It'd probably be Tally. Caden's probably like last on that list of people that would shoot him. That's eh, not surprising at all. <laughs> I'm surprised she only shoots once. He's dead. Now this is a very sci-fi moment. I always did question why Sovereign would take the chance to do this. Because if the body dies, he becomes vulnerable. But I'm guessing arrogance is a big factor there. Hey look, somebody's hosting the channel. Sovereign and this station 
is mine. We'll see about that, robot. I'm doing no damage. Um, see if I can land this carnage. Oh, where'd he go? Ow! So do you think Saren knew what he was being installed with? Like he went to the garage, he went to the uh, he went to the uh, mechanic, and he was like, "Hey, I want to get these." Um, what am I stuck? Oh, I'm stuck on Tally's dead body. Got it. Nope. Oh, where'd you go? But he goes to the he goes to the mechanic, and he's like, "Yeah, I'd like uh, this package installed, please." Like, um, sir, this package is for vehicles. You have like a, a tank. You have like a tank cannon. So it's like, eh, this so sovereign makes me want to do this, so I'm doing it. He basically had some kind of like rocket launcher installed into his chest face area. Also, I wonder who did the operation. This is Reaper Tech, so I feel like Sovereign would have done it, but maybe he indoctrinated some doctors. I guess that makes sense. See, this is why I'm annoying to try to make a game plot with, because I pick holes in everything. I can't help it, it's just who I am. I want things to be logical and make sense. Sovereign's too strong, we have to pull back! Negative, this is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Oh! <laughs> I'm just sitting here staring at him. Uh, Lift! Look how powerful Lift is in this fight. Oh, the show's shields are really tough. Oh, hello, Sovereign. Uh, throw. Where'd he go? No. Throw does nothing, got it. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. They're gonna take over your army of Geth. Of course, we know Shepard isn't gonna do that, but. I've lost shield. Ow! Got it. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Captain. We're at work. We're killing Sovereign right now. Oh, the raid didn't work. Well, thank you for the raid. Once again, uh, Twitch raid did not work. But hello, welcome. I'm at the end of Mass Effect 1, and we're going to be starting Mass Effect 2 right after this. Pew pew! I'm stuck on Tally's dead body again. Tally, you're getting in the way, even in death. He's so squirmy. This is it. Finish him off. Down. Oh, I overheated. No. I've lost shields. Just die already. <laughs> he has no health. He has no health. Is everyone see? Okay, hopefully everyone's seeing this. He has no health and no shields. He's a zombie now. I'll finish him off with a uh, with this. I missed. He's a zombie, he won't die there. <laughs> Hooray! We stopped Saren and Sovereign from destroying the galaxy so we can rule it later. Tally's just taking a nap. Well, she took a nap in a very bad spot. And there it goes. Now, so in order to stop the Reapers, here's what we have to do. That we have a very simple plan to stop the Reapers now, right? We get all of them. We get all of them to inhabit a body, and then we kill the body. That's all we got to do, right? Convince the millions of Reapers to inhabit millions of millions of people that have been enhanced, and then we kill the millions of people, and then we kill the million Reapers. This is the one time you'll ever see the Normandy fire a shot, besides a Mass Effect 2 at the end. 
I mean, they're not built to be a warship, so... They're a stealth ship. Go! Uh-oh. But how was the rest of your scream? I was only... By the time I got done messing with emotes, I, I only had like 10 minutes to be in your stream before I had to stream. <laughs> Speaking of that, there are, um, there are three new emotes up. They're kind of stupid, but they're there. Until I can get them professionally made, they're there. I just took some screenshots from this game in, in XCOM 2 with, with uh, Mass Effect mods. Oh, uh, probably. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. Oh, hey, Henrik. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? I love how creepy that tally face came off. It's not supposed to be creepy, but it's creepy. I, I know it's kind of hard to see. Unfortunately, the, the screenshot that I had to use from XCOM 2 had a shine on her helmet, which kind of makes the eyes blend into it. I'll try to make it a little better later. And I wish the Morden Pog was better. His mouth is open like the Pog thing, but because his 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 head is so long, it makes the mouth smaller so it's harder to see. Yeah, Psycho Shepherd lives to destroy the galaxy later. <laughs> well, rule the galaxy. Maybe destroy some of it. How is this shepherd going to look when he smiles? I wonder. Ah! Get it away! Such a fake looking smile. He's just like, yeah, I'll smile. They won't know what hit them later. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. It was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now... Nobody will be able to stop us. Yes! <laughs> now, this game has, in a way, four endings. If you're Paragon, and you pick Anderson, he has a nice speech of, like, we'll bring the galaxy together, and we'll all stand against the Reapers. If you go Paragon and pick Udina, it's actually very similar at the end speech. Udina even says, like, we'll, we'll do stuff with the aliens, and we'll get stronger, all, all that, you know, cooperation stuff. When you do a when you do a renegade ending like this one, you can tell from the music. Adina's Adina's just like all oh, human empire, human empire. And if you even if you pick Anderson to be the leader, he's still kind of dark. Not as much as Adina, but still there. That's why I did it. I did it for humanity and myself. The council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Yes. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? Don't act so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old Council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. Yes. Also, we know that doesn't happen. We know that doesn't happen. Because in Mass Effect 2, all the species are back. So apparently, like, the plan to do this doesn't quite work out for us. We'll use force. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. 
The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before, and they don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We will have a human council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. Oh, that's such a cool scene. Yes, human empire. Look, Odina, Odina. I know we've had our differences in the past, but here's the thing. I like what you said there. I like what you said. And if you're in charge, if I kill you later, I'll be in charge. And you're be, you'll be more fun to kill than Anderson. So, Udina, I think you're perfect for this job. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. Yes. Well, that's going to be a... I'm going to take a picture of that at some point and do something with it. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then I'm going to kill him and take over. <laughs> oh, credits. My favorite credit music in the Mass Effect series. <laughs> but I don't feel like getting this muted. Okay. Well, that was Mass Effect 1. Renegade, kind of. There were a few Renegade things I didn't do just for roleplay purposes. But you know what time it is now? It is time for Mass Effect 2.